Welcome to art. My name is Mrs Broad and I'm the head of art at Old Palace. We have four specialist art studios. One is for ceramics, two are used for GCSE and A-level students, and one is a specialist year seven to nine space. In addition, we have a dark room. We have computers that run industry standard Adobe cloud software. We also have the means to be able to do various print processes as well as all the traditional media. All students study art in year seven to nine. They have one lesson per week and it is an option subject at GCSE and A-level. Photography is additionally taught at A-level. Our GCSE and A-level results show a sustained 100% success with the majority gaining the very top grades. Clubs and workshops for all year groups run throughout the year. Work produced is displayed around the school and particularly in the Shah building where we have a large open gallery space. At the end of the academic year, GCSE and A-level work is showcased in an end of year show for family and friends and school to see. We have also started creating a digital exhibition space. Art works really closely with design technology and used resources such as the well-equipped workshop, the laser cutter and others as required. We have also put on special events such as our biannual alternative fashion show and collaborated with the prep school. Art is about inclusivity and enjoyment, but we are particularly proud of the impressive and ambitious results our students go to create and how they feel about their own achievements. We want to create individuals who can go on and study art beyond their time at Old Palace or know that their art education that they have experienced will give them the confidence never to shy away from creativity and art now or in the future. Hi, my name is Leah Khan and I am Head of Dance here at Old Palace. Dance is a vibrant and well-established department here at the school. We have two dance specialist teachers that teach from Year 7 right up into the sixth form at Year 13. In Key Stage 4 and 5, we were given the opportunity to take dance leadership or dance GCSC. Here we focus on the skills and attributes of a professional dancer, choreographer and a critic. At this school we have two main dance studios. The first main purpose dance studio has sprung floors and full length mirrors. The other is the banqueting hall which has a historic feature. This is where we hold classes and performances. The ethos behind the compulsory curriculum at Key Stage 3 centres on building confidence, creativity and enjoyment through dance, enabling us to express ourselves and work collaboratively with others. The Arts Award and Dance Leadership courses are offered across the different key stages which allow us to develop leadership skills and to help aid transferable skills and increase independent thinking and learning. We take part in many school trips to the theatre, such as the Royal Opera House, and we often attend workshops where professional practitioners come into the school to deliver sessions. We have a huge extracurricular dance programme, offering classes in different abilities and styles, including contemporary, hip-hop, tap and Indian dance. We hold two large dance performances each year. One is with key stages four and five, and the other is with years seven to 13. Many students progress onto university after doing dance in sixth form. Previous students have moved on to study foreign languages, geography, and dentistry, whilst carrying on with dance as an extracurricular activity. In the sixth form, Gold Arts Award is offered as a qualification for young people who wish to develop their skills as a creative arts leader. This course has helped me develop my creativity, communication, planning, teamwork and leadership skills. This course strongly supports progression through any education, career pathway and training and has also gained me extra UCAS points. My name is Jordana Burke and I'm Head of Drama at Old Palace. Here at Old Palace we're really proud of the drama provision that we give the girls. In terms of our academic program, we offer GCSE and A-level drama, which is a very popular subject. We follow the Edexcel specification with outstanding results. In the last three years, our results for GCSE have been fantastic. We've achieved 97% six to nine grades and 78% of our girls have achieved seven to nine, the top grades. 
A-level drama results have also been fantastic with 100% of students achieving A to A star. Students study a wide variety of texts and schemes of work. We do a mime scheme of work where students work on their nonverbal communication skills and mime as a technique and an acting skill. We also study the plays Twelfth Night and The Twits, which is always a really fun scheme, and we make those schemes as practical and as enjoyable as possible. The drama curriculum at Old Palace helps students develop their confidence, it challenges them as theatre makers, and has cross-curricular links with subjects such as English and history. In years 7 to 9, students can attend lunchtime drama clubs. These clubs are not audition-based. Anyone can come. We look at improvisation, script work, and even playwriting. We also offer Lambda examinations with an external Lambda teacher, and results have been outstanding year after year in our Lambda exams, with most students achieving merit or distinction. Hey everyone, I'm Year 10 student who has just chosen drama as one of their GCSE options. Drama has always appealed to me as a subject because it allows me to express my, myself in ways that other subjects don't allow me to. It doesn't bore me now I speak the word. And to do the act like the addition earn, not the world's mass of vanity could make me. Um, hi, my name's Megan, I'm Year 10 drama student. Um, I've always been a very confident person and I've liked creating drama in well, not necessarily in drama lessons, so doing drama was inevitable for me, uh, but I wasn't prepared for the Im uh, immense opportunities that I would receive at this school with the uh, many plays which allowed me to interact with students in other year groups, which I've really, really enjoyed. Um, the drama teachers at the school are really amazing, and they've helped me so much with um, building confidence, and that's helped me not only in drama, but with other subjects as well. Hello there, my name's Nissy in Year 10 Drama. Um, I like drama because it's helped me build up my confidence and I've interacted with people across the school in other year groups doing plays, drama workshops and the drama festival. We also help students to prepare for drama school auditions or university auditions if they wish to pursue theatre as a career in the future. We offer a wide range of theatre trips at Old Palace. These trips are open not only to GCSE and A-level students, but to students across the school. It's a really great way for them to experience live theatre, but also to extend what they might be learning in other subjects. For example, we had a joint drama and German trip last year to see the play The Lady Comes to Call. Most recently, we also went to see A Doll's House and a really exciting and very creative production of Frankenstein. At Old Palace, it's really important to us that the girls have a professional quality experience as they're developing their performance skills. So we make sure to offer practical workshops to the girls every year that are led by professional theatre practitioners. In the past, we've had people come in to lead puppetry workshops, physical theatre production and acting technique workshops, as well as a Greek theatre workshop. We have two school productions a year. Past productions have included Twelfth Night, The Ash Girl, and Oliver, as well as Arabian Nights, which was a really creative production where we used puppetry and a lot of physical theater for the storytelling. So you can see that our productions aren't just enjoyable for the girls, but they really extend them so that they're trying new theater techniques that they may not have experienced before. The Old Palace Drama Department provides a welcoming environment and pushes students to do their very best to achieve excellence. Drama! We love it! Music is integral to life at Old Palace and we aim to encourage as many girls as possible to join in with the many musical opportunities available to them. Our aim is to develop young musicians of all standards and encourage participation in a wide variety of musical ensembles. We provide a diverse curriculum that allows pupils to develop the central musical skills of listening, performing and composing, whilst engaging in a multitude of genres and styles which range from the blues and African music to classical theme and variations and film music. Our curriculum is supported by an excellent and extensive co-curricular framework. During the pandemic, we are offering an orchestra and choir for every year group, as well as a very popular steel pans ensemble and a ukulele group. A team of 20 peripatetic music staff undertake instrumental tuition for approximately 200 students. Girls can elect to learn any instrument they choose. Associated board music examinations are also conducted regularly at school. As a member of the Choir Schools Association, 
Our chapel choir sings monthly evensong services in Croydon Minster and also sings regularly at cathedrals around the country. Our chamber choir has won a number of competitions and singers from the school have recently performed with the internationally renowned London Mozart players on several occasions, including performances of Holst's Planets and Mendelssohn's A Midsummer Night's Dream. We also regularly put on school musicals and collaborate with the other foundation schools in doing so. Recent productions have included Seussical, Hairspray and Guys and Dolls. There have also been several opera productions involving Old Palace pupils, including recent performances at the English National Opera and Garstington's production of Britain's Turn of the Screw. In addition to our regular concerts and productions, the school's musicians regularly perform abroad. Recent tours have included performances in Vienna, Barcelona, Venice and Tuscany, amongst others. Welcome to the PE department, I'm Mrs Smith. PE and physical activity are so important in the lifestyles of young people and at Old Palace we aim to deliver a broad range of activities to excite young people about being physically active but also to offer ways to extend and excel their skills through the extracurricular programme on offer and the examination route in PE. Academic PE is offered through the GCSE option in years 10 and 11. Here, the students learn about a number of different aspects that affect performance and participation, such as anatomy and physiology, commercialisation of sport, skill development, guidance and mental preparation for sport, sociocultural aspects affecting participation, as well as obviously developing the physical skills needed in sports and activities. In PE lessons, we cover a variety of activities, including the traditional ones such as netball, hockey and athletics, but also the activities that are fast growing among women in the UK, including football, tag rugby and more recently, cricket. This variety of activities gives the students the chance to find a lifelong love of sport, as well as the opportunity to be involved in these activities in teams and clubs offered at Old Palace. Clubs take place before school, at lunchtime and after school. Some are open access, while others are more selective and allow Old Palace to be represented at fixtures against other schools and in tournaments. We compete with lots of schools in the area and are currently Year 8 Croydon Netball Champions and Year 9 Relay Champions within the borough. We are certainly able to compete locally with confidence. In the summer, we hold our annual sports day at Whitgift School. It's a great occasion where every student is involved in fun house events as well as the formal athletics competitions and culminates in very tense and exciting relay events. It's something we look forward to and really brings the whole school community together. PE is about doing. It's about learning skills, it's about pushing yourself physically, but there are so many other skills learned. So we're a very busy department with lots happening and we look forward to welcoming you to the school. We are very proud of running the nationally recognised Sports Leaders Award Level 1 and 2. We are also excited at the prospect of starting Level 3 in the near future. Alongside building confidence, the award looks at various communication styles, different types of self-belief, the importance of teamwork, working together to solve problems and looking at self-management. The students enjoy planning their sessions and then delivering to the students. We work closely with the prep school and other feeder schools to provide a range of experiences for the leaders, including umpiring, scoring and team manager roles. It is a fantastic award and we thoroughly enjoy seeing the leaders flourish over the year. For me, I saw sports leaders as a great opportunity to combine my passion for sport with the ability to improve my leadership skills. I take part in a range of sport and so was also curious as to what it was like to be the leader rather than the participant and viewed sports leaders as a chance to experience this. Over the duration of the course, the sports leaders have led all different kinds of activities from hockey tournaments to house netball to lessons at prep. We all have learnt how to umpire different sports, complete score sheets, timekeep, be in charge of first aid and many more. Overall, Sports Leaders has been a fabulous opportunity at Old Palace and gives a different dimension to PE. I compete to many sporting events, so thought it would be interesting to look at the leadership aspect of sports, as well as also participating in it. I've learned about the qualities that make a good sports leader. Sports Leaders has helped me to learn about self-belief and why it is important. Communication, creativity, organisation, Having confidence are many more qualities. 
I've learnt about ways that I can adapt activities to challenge those who are finding it easy, as well as encouraging and supporting those who are finding it difficult. During sports leader lessons, we had to plan and lead our own sessions independently. This has helped to develop my organisation skills, as I had to make sure I had planned a good session, including a warm-up and an activity that focused on an aspect of sport, whether it be fitness or developing netball skills. I thoroughly enjoyed my Level 2 sports leaders experience and came out of it with a qualification and many more additional skills. After taking Level 1 sports leaders, I was eager to progress on the skills learnt and was interested to get more involved. In Sports Leaders Level 2, we needed to complete 10 hours of independent volunteering, which meant we needed to be responsible in how we managed our time, choosing what clubs, competitions and tryouts we could attend while struggling our GCSE workload. Level 2 Sports Leaders is a great course to take as it allows you to continue to build and cultivate a lot of soft skills through sporting activities. And these skills are transferable within everyday life, such as developing good communication skills, which can help in a classroom setting or when delivering a talk, and teamwork skills, which aid you in any aspect of life which you may need to work with people. Overall, I would highly recommend this course to anyone who wants to continue to build on their transferable skills and building relationships across the school. Hello, my name's Mrs Tamplin and I'm in charge of swimming here at Old Palace. We're extremely lucky to have this fantastic four lane 25 metre pool. It's such a bonus. We concentrate mainly on developing stroke technique and water skills and making sure our lessons are enjoyable, fun and interesting for everyone taking part. As well as swimming, we also introduce a wide range of other aquatic activities including water polo, synchronised swimming, diving, personal survival, life-saving, team games and relays. Each class swims once a week, with lots of clubs and squads available too. We have a swimming club, a swimming squad, a development swimming squad, a water polo club, water polo squad and an early morning swim fit session. We also have a swim clinic for those girls who join us in year seven who maybe haven't had the opportunity to participate in swimming in their primary years and are therefore even non-swimmers or not very confident swimmers. Water polo at Old Palace has developed and risen significantly. Our under-18 water polo team this year qualified for the English school's water polo finals. It was such a proud moment for the team, our school and for me personally too. This is Sarah and she is going to say a few words about water polo. Today I am one of the leading goalkeepers from my age group, attending the National Academy Born 2004 group uh, since the autumn term of year nine. And um, I have been a member of the England squad for the last year, attending national and international camps. We host and compete in friendly swimming galas against local schools and in the Croydon Schools Swimming Championships. We had a marvellous haul of 17 medals earlier in the year at the Croydon Schools Year 7 and 8 Championships. Evie topped the pile with a stupendous gold medal and trophy in the Year 7 25 metres breaststroke. This is Evie and she is going to say a few words about swimming. Hi, I'm Evie and I'm currently in Year 8. I really enjoy swimming at Old Palace because the teachers support me and it also gives me a chance to help my friends too. I swim at county level and I won the 25 metre breaststroke for year seven at the Croydon Championships. Old Palace really pushes me to my greatest potential and it helps me reach my goals. We hold annual house swimming galas and house water polo competitions which are great fun and a fantastic opportunity for all. This is just a snapshot of our pool. We look forward to welcoming you in person in the near future. The Duke of Edinburgh Award is a fantastic award that provides a wealth of experiences for the many participants that opt into the scheme. The award requires a lot of commitment and drive in order to find a skill, physical activity and volunteering placement to complete over a set amount of time. We encourage all participants to get involved in the local community and some have enjoyed working closely with the Whitgift Care Homes. The award also encompasses expeditions which test map work skills, cooking, sleeping in a tent and navigating their way around the countryside. It really pushes the students out of their comfort zone but certainly provides a rewarding experience. I'm Olivia and I'm currently finishing my Gold DV. I completed my bronze in year nine and my silver throughout my GCSE years. I'm very grateful that my teachers supported me in continuing DV all the way to Gold Awards. Completing Gold DV 
has taught me some invaluable life skills and made me a more confident and passionate person. I think this commitment to encouraging students to be passionate outside their studies is what makes Old Palace such a well-rounded environment to be taught in. Hello, my name is Demi and I'm the current head girl here at Old Palace School. I joined Old Palace in Year 7 and I'm now in Year 13 studying Physics, Chemistry, Maths, Further Maths and I aspire to study Engineering at University. Hi, I'm Lisa. I'm currently the Deputy Head Girl at Old Palace. I've also been here since Year 7. I currently study Biology, Drama, English Language and Psychology and I'm hoping to study Biology in the future. Demi, can you remember what you were like in Year 7? In Year 7, I was quite a small, young little girl. I was coming from a mixed primary school, so I didn't really have any idea of what it was like to be at a girls' school. But I think the transition was quite seamless because I was able to make new friends, um, study subjects that I'd never come across before, and discover some of my passions, my talents, and my interests. I think I was shy, just like you. I didn't really know how to make new friends. I feel like when you're in a mixed school for a long time, you don't really learn how to make new friendships quite easily. But I eventually adjusted and now I'm really happy with Old Palace. Good. So do you have any advice to girls who are starting in year seven? I would say go out of your comfort zone. It seems really hard when you start a new school, you know, you don't really know many people, you're a bit unsure, but you need to remember that everyone's in the same boat as you. Everyone's starting the school for the first time and you just need to go out of your comfort zone, try things you've never tried. Old Palace has a range of clubs like golf club, it has knitting club, it has fencing club. Some of these clubs are available throughout the whole year. There's a range of sports clubs. There's so many different things that you can try at Old Palace and I think you should totally take those opportunities and make as many friends as you can, which is really, really important. Yeah, I 100% agree with that. Also, don't be afraid to ask questions. There are so many people, your friends, girls in older years and teachers who are here to support you all the time. What is your favourite subject of all the A-levels you take? It would be hard to pinpoint one. You know, I am very interested in the science and mathematics, especially physics. Um, and I think that's due to the clubs that I took part in from Year 7 all the way up to Year 13 now. I have been a part of the physics and chemistry societies and part of the maths competitions. I also get involved in the UKMT maths challenges that happen every year. So I've kind of taken a part in all of them. Um, I'm especially passionate about sports. I think that seems to be one of the things that are quite dear to me, um, especially netball. So I do take advantage of those. And the clubs that you get involved in? I've been involved in so many clubs. Like I said, golf club and fencing club, which was available um, a couple years ago, which was amazing. I've done loads of drama productions like Suzical and Arabian Nights, which we did together. <laughs> I've also done Guys and Dolls in collaboration with Whitgift. With Guys and Dolls, I was stage manager and I helped design some of the set, which was really important in developing my skills. So I think you can do things in the background and not always be in the forefront of things, but really make an impact in everything that you do at Old Palace, which is really important. Yeah. What opportunities do you think you've had in Old Palace? I think Old Palace is very special because there are abundance of opportunities from the different clubs that we have to the different um, opportunities there are to collaborate with the different schools. I particularly enjoy some of the things that we can do outside school. So we have opportunities to go to different um, events. So last year I went to the Physics in Action, which took place in London. And I think that's a real mm. opportunity to find out what you're interested in and hear from people who are within industry. But also lower down the school, you do have the opportunity to go and talk to different people within different industries as they come into school. And I think it's really nice to get an idea of what it's like to actually be in that position um, when you do leave school. I think I've really enjoyed being in the wider community. I think that's really important to me, the more social aspect of Old Palace. I've been able to volunteer at the Whitgift House and speak to senior residents, the Croydon Refugee Centre and also the Floating Shelter, which was so important to me. I think it's really a humbling experience when you realise that some people aren't able to have things like education or basic needs, which you take for granted every single day. And I feel like those experiences at Old Palace make you see the world as it is. Do you think being in an all-girls school has changed or impacted your learning in any ways? Um, I think being at an all-girls school is quite special in the sense that you're in an environment where you can relate to most people who are around you, not be pressured by anything that's going on around socially, and just be quite comfortable in yourself and being in an environment where you're able to grow and develop as your own person and discover your interests and passions around people who are like-minded like you. 
I agree with that. I think it's a very comfortable environment. Everyone can relate to each other. They're going through the same thing. No one's really worrying about, you know, what to do or because they have everyone around them to support them. And I feel like you make long lasting friends at Old Palace, which is really, really important for the future.